Yo, what's my one and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over 10 plus video effects for Final Cut Pro 10. Now, obviously, these effects can be used for you know any editing software. But this is primarily focused on Final Cut Pro 10. Now, obviously, you already saw the intro, which is like a minute and a half long. I want to go over a whole bunch of different effects I've kind of collected over the last couple of weeks. I'm going to kind of put it all together into some sort of compilation. Now, this video is not going to be like a step by step, you know, like step one, step two, step three. This is going to be more of just kind of an editing breakdown where I'm just going to give you an overview of what I actually did. Not going to show you everything I did step by step, more just going to go frame by frame and give you a general idea um, of what I did. So, I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in right here. I'm going to go ahead and start it off with the first one which is the video inside text so if I go like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it lasts for about ten frames all this is simply just a text right here and as you can see right here I just keyframe the scale um, right here so I go to the end right here keyframe the scale by 20% so just keyframe the scale and then you're asking me how do we get that blending mode if I go ahead and click on this undo right here this is what it looks like and you have to scroll down and click on either stenza alpha or stencil luma right here so I'll go like stencil luma right there and there it goes you can see right here and then I think right here stencil luma I believe stencil alpha also works too but as you can see right there stencil luma right there the text is now inside so you want to make sure you have the text right there and the blending mode I just changed to stencil luma now I created a compound clip from the text because I wanted to adjust the position and then I also wanted to keyframe the scale so I had to reset the anchor point so that's why I had to create a compound clip and then right here just you know a little bit of a glitch uh, signal glitch transition um, from the Ryan Nagel new way bundle and the ESPN logo right there so let's head over to this one um, right here as you can see it's just a simple you know little collage right there and if you don't know what I did all I did was just add this paper background effect and then all I did was I took the photo used a draw mask to cut out the photo and then imported a custom generator changed the background to white and then I just copy and pasted the mask settings so this is literally just using a draw mask just in case you're not aware the tool is called draw mask right there that's basically like the equivalent of the pen tool and that's how you cut out images by using the draw mask right here so it's kind of go like this frame by frame right here so go one, two, three, four right here. One, two, three, four, five right here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then one, two, three, four, five right here. One, two, three, four right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this one right here just holds for um, one second. So as you can see right there, you're literally just adjusting the position. You just, you know, adjust, you're just importing different photos right here. And as you can see right there, it creates um, this really cool kind of um, collage effect um, right there. So let's head over to the next one um, right here. Now this is an effect that I found I found it really difficult to recreate. So all you're doing right here is these are all copies right here. So here's the original and then I um, created a copy four times. So these four um, videos right here are a copy of this original. So if I zoom in right here, as you can see it says copy, copy reverse, copy, copy reversed, and copy. So and um, I each one of these is uh, the, uh, the copy is at four frames. So I just held it for four frames. So you can see right there. One, two, three, four. As you can see right here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right there. So it just goes back and forth and back and forth. And you can do that as much as you want. Command R right here. As you can see, the reverse, um, uh, the reverse right there. So all you want to do is click on the clip right here. I'll go over to here, and as you can see right here, reverse clip right there so you can see right there you just go ahead and reverse the clip and that's how you basically um reverse the clip so just reverse the clip right here so it's literally just a copy right here one two three four and then it goes backwards so it kind of creates 
um, this really cool looping effect right there and just in case you're wondering I think I already said it before but each of them holds for four frames you can of course you know adjust it to um, you know how many frames you want but four frames I find looks pretty cool and obviously you don't have to have you know this many copies um, but it just depends on what you're trying to uh, what you're trying to accomplish um, right there so head over to this one right here this one's a pretty simple one you just kind of have the clip playing um, right here now I'm gonna head over to this one right here so four 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 so it's broken down to 12 so you can see right here so go one two three four and then I change the scale to 80 percent one two three four color merge now back to his normal thing right here and then you have Saquon Barkley one two three four now it's scaled down to 80 percent one two three four and then one two three four so basically, as you can see right here, it's just a normal clip for four frames. For next four frames, scale to 80%, and then he's back. So it kind of creates um, this really cool kind of pop-up effect right there, which I think is a pretty cool um, idea right there. But this is just a cool idea that I kind of came up with, you know, influenced by a couple of the videos. But as you can see right here, it's just a Google screen recording right here. This is this holds for about one second right here. And as you can see right here, here's a screen recording of me just, you know, typing in Matt Ryan. And I believe I increased the speed of this Command R to 400%. So I increased the speed just, you know, so it went a little bit faster right there. So I kind of have him searching up right there. And then as you can see right there, boom, there's the Google search right there. And I just basically just um, cropped it right there so it fit in right there. And as you can see right here, all I did right here was I just used the Ken's burn effect to zoom in um, right there, which I think is a pretty cool um, effect. So head over to the next one right here. This is a pretty cool, interesting idea that I had. I'll just kind of go frame by frame. So I'll go like this. So I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So as you can see right here, you hold it for about a couple seconds. So the video is just playing you know, normally um, like a normal video right there. And then at some point, I'm not 100% you know, sure what exactly happens, but eventually you just kind of play it for two, three seconds. And all of a sudden right here, as you'll see eventually, um, the clip freezes. So you can see right there, boom, the clip freezes. If you want to freeze a clip, all you got to do is click on option F. So the clip freezes. Now I'm going to go ahead, as you can see right here, I just keyframe the scale and you'll crop the animation right there to have it fit right there. And as you can see right here, this is basically literally just a screen recording right there. So I just screen recorded Instagram right there. As you can see here, Here's the NFL logo. So I just screen recorded Instagram right here. Now, if you're wondering how in the world does this K um, stay on track or stick to this place right here, all I did was just key from the position. As you can see right here, it's locked down right there. All I did was just key from the position, make sure it stayed in the right place, and then boom, there you go. Right there. It's as simple as that. It's a really cool effect. Again, I just want to, you know, break down how to create the effect. Obviously, you know, you can, it's, you know, a much more advanced effect. So I'm heading to this one right here. So you can see right here, here are the different numbers right here. Obviously, you know I cut out um, I use the uh, draw mask um, to cut up the effect right there so you can see right here I believe each of these holds yeah for four frames and then some of them might change the black and white effect so you can see right here I go one two right here one two right here one two right here and then one two right here and then one two scales down one two and then as you can see right here all I did was just keyframe the scale um, right there. So as you can see right here, here is the position scale and everything like that. All of that is keyframed right there. And then all I did was right here, I went one, two, and then went on to the next clip right here. And basically what I just did right here, as you can see, I just tried to match it up. So you know, these are different photos. So you can see right there. So this will go one, two, three, and then one, two, one, two, three over here go one two three four five one two three and then one two three four right here and then one two three four right there so it just basically creates this really cool um collage effect we just find different photos of the same person and you just select different you know parts of his body and stuff like that and it creates a really cool cut effect and obviously you know you can desaturate um the look if you want to right there now head over right here so you can see where i try my best to you know to rename um everything right here so you know slide up rotate so you can see right here all you're doing is this i believe each one holds so each one holds for three frames so every three frames what you're doing so one two three one 
two I'll, I'll go to start right here so right here one two three one two three one two three and then one two three one two three one two three one two three and then one two three four five so you basically just you know adjusting the position uh right here as you can see you slide it but just keeps rotating and as you can see right here obviously if i don't go slow enough what you could also do is you could actually just screen record the intro and you know you just copy right there if you want to right there and then as you can see right here you know I'll just kind of go frame by frame but basically what you're just doing is you're literally just um adjusting the position so as you can see i cut out different parts of the subject right there so you know every single frame i just cut out um different parts of the subject um, right there and as you can see right here I used to use a compound clip to you know position them correctly and like every like three or four frames I started moving the clip over right there so you can see right here it comes down and as you can see all you're just doing is you can either keyframe it you can adjust the, you can cut the clips and move the position but you're just basically just moving it around right there as you can see right there you're just literally just moving the clip around right there you know until you get um, the look that you want right there and then all I have eventually will just have it zoom out into position um, right there. And, you know, that's a pretty cool um, effect right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, uh, uh, zoom out over right here. Here are a whole bunch of different, you know, split screens or frame and frames. So you have this one right here. You have this one right here. You have this one right here. And then you have this one where it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 right here. It just pops up in these different split screens. So you can see where then you have this one right here. So 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here. So you just have all these different um, uh, split screen, you know, frame and frame effects. Um, right there and that you know is as simple as that right there so I'm gonna go ahead and do this effect right here basically what I have is I have like a one two three four five and as you can see right here I just keyframe the scale right here so I went one two three all I did was I just went uh, three frames in that of course depends on the look that you want to go for right there how fast or slow all you're doing is just keyframing the scale right there obviously you could add some uh, motion blur if you want and then right here as you can see right here I just have a photo right here so you can see these are just you know these photos are just copies but this one is just a draw mess so i could add that kind of you know dust effect um right there so i'll go ahead as you see with the rotation is the same right there so you can see right here i just keyframe the scale and rotation so i started it off um like this right here and then i just keyframe you know all the position to zero um right there and i just have this freeze frame right here so i'll go like this so as you can see right there so I'll go one two three four one two three four five one two three four and then one two three four so basically all you're doing is you're just cutting out random parts of the person so it creates this really cool kind of like flicker kind of glitch effect i think it's a pretty cool effect of course you know it's like a you know a personal um preference right there so head over to the last effect right here and all this is is just a zoom in effect right there so i just picked the last three frames so i went to the end and went back three frames keyframe the scale one two three and it kind of creates this really cool zoom effect all i did was i just keyframe the scale um to 200 percent and of course i added motion blur right there and that's pretty much it here are all the effects again like i said before if you want to actually go to the beginning of the video and screen record the video you know if i didn't go slow enough or you know you want to look at it a little bit better go ahead and do that i did my best to kind of you know go through kind of frame by frame um how i created the effect but again you can go ahead and go through and screen record it. that's how a lot of times how i recreate videos i'll find a video that i like and just screen record it and then do my best to try to um, create the effect this video is you know much more for uh, like advanced people obviously you know if you're a beginner you're probably you know not going to understand everything but this is more for advanced people and some really cool kind of advanced techniques to just kind of step up um, your editing game and that's pretty much it anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you do these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also have final cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 240 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, highly, highly encourage you to go ahead um, and check out that playlist. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.